In this video I'd like to demonstrate the different viewing options that Photo Supreme has to offer. After importing images you can access thumbnails from the catalog. Either from categories, or portfolios, or in this case, from a folder. These are all car images. I double click on the thumbnail to open the image. The image is now opened in the embedded viewer. This is configurable, and I can open images in the embedded viewer, but also in a floating viewer, and if I had a second monitor attached, then I could also open images on the second monitor. With a second monitor, I could keep my thumbnails, as well as my displayed image both in view. I can here double click once more to open the full screen view. By pressing escape on the keyboard, I return to the embedded viewer. Inside any of the viewers there are some keyboard shortcuts to remember. That is the Z key, which switches the displayed image to a 100% view. The A key, switches to the best fit view. And the plus key, and the minus key are used to zoom in and zoom out. In Photo Supreme you can zoom out to 1%, which is quite small. And you can zoom in, up to 10,000%. Which is of course a lot of detail. I now press the Z key to return to the 100% view. By clicking, and dragging the mouse, I can scroll the image in the display window. I would typically use this to determine if the image is sharp, and if I'd like to keep it or not. The right arrow cursor key opens the next image in the set. When an image is displayed in the best fit view, I can click, and hold the mouse key pressed. That gives a 100% view, and enables me to quickly judge parts of the image. There where I click, that part of the image is centered in the display. So if I click several parts, I can get a really good impression of the overall image. Are these gauges sharp? And the steering wheel? The same applies here. On top of that, I can use the loop feature. That is this icon here. By default it shows the underlying area at 200%. And, I can use these plus and minus icons to zoom the loop in or out. I now zoom in to 8 times the original image. This gives a really great tool to judge the content of the image. This is the slideshow button. By clicking this button, it starts the slideshow. Every 4 seconds the next image is displayed. Press the escape key to close the slideshow. Back in the thumbnails display, it is also possible to get a quick view. Do this by pressing the spacebar. By dragging this handle you can size the quick view to your preference. The size and position are remembered, so on the next restart of Photo Supreme, the quick view is displayed at the same position and size. As mentioned before, the slideshow can be started from the viewer. But it's also possible to start a slideshow directly from the thumbnails. I do this by pressing Command Shift Enter. Windows users press Control Shift Enter. That starts the slideshow directly from the thumbnails. Escape closes the slideshow. The same way, you can open the full screen view. Then press Shift Enter on a selected thumbnail. By pressing the right and left cursor keys, you can step forward and backward in the set. That wraps it up, and I hope that helps you to better understand the different viewing options in Photo Supreme.